his opponents are demanding his resignation and view him as a danger to democracy. His supporters see him as a savior. President Jair Bolsonaro pits Brazilians against one another during the corona pandemic more than ever. The flags fans from the Corinthians club carry weigh almost five kilos, but for Rogerio Bassetto, they carry even greater weight, politically. In Sao Paulo, soccer fans are leading pro-democracy protests, despite the pandemic. We Corinthians supporters were also among the first to take to the streets in the 1980s to protest against the military dictatorship. That's the spirit of this flag. Now they're once again fighting for freedom, since Bolsonaro is stirring up hatred against minorities, against blacks and homosexuals. The demonstrators want to show that's unacceptable. We must stand up for our rights more forcefully and enlighten our fellow Brazilians. Because in 2018, the majority of them elected a murderer as president. They're also angry that Bolsonaro has downplayed the coronavirus pandemic, even though COVID-19 has claimed over 110,000 lives in Brazil. The government in the capital stands for the spirit of racism and fascism. And we fans are fighting against that. The capital, Brasilia, is a place of pilgrimage for Bolsonaro fans. Here, Sibel Rodovalho meets with people she calls fellow supporters of the conservative cause. They aim to found a new far-right party, tailored to President Bolsonaro, whom they worship like a pop star. Sibel streams her impressions of these meetings and their political messages constantly on the internet. It's the conservative topics which thrill us in this new party. No one else has such conservative topics on their agenda like we do here. Soon afterwards, President Bolsonaro himself joins them via video chat and proceeds to downplay the pandemic as he has for months. I think Brazil has responded to the pandemic very well. Some politicians wanted to destroy our economy, but we came up with the right response. Sibel approves of Bolsonaro's crisis management. She thinks the pandemic and social distancing measures are all just hype. Suddenly, this pandemic arrived, conjured up by the press, to make sure we stayed shut up at home and couldn't found our party. The biggest and only truly conservative party in this country. For her, conservative values include the traditional nuclear family, religion, and the right to bear arms. Whether we've had COVID or not, our lives haven't stopped. Our work is really important to us. We conservatives are very hardworking and want a better country. But that doesn't happen if you're sitting at home. At their clubhouse, the Corinthians supporters proudly display their flag. In this way, they're no different than any other soccer fans. I'm here at the clubhouse more often than I'm at home. We fans help one another, and people outside the club too. Anyone who needs our help. Every Saturday during the crisis, they prepare food. Today alone, they've made a thousand meals. Later, Luciana Cludi and her team will be out on the streets distributing them. We saw that during the crisis, everyone was staying home. So the homeless were completely isolated. So the soccer fans are helping out and delivering the meals in their own vehicles. In a convoy, they head for the center of Sao Paulo. 
where people are already waiting for them. For the homeless, these free meals are a blessing. There's rice, noodles and sausage. Some have only been living on the streets for a few weeks, since the corona crisis left them unable to pay their rent. The pandemic has driven more Brazilians into poverty. The government needs to leave their palaces and see with their own eyes what's happening in this country. Sao Paulo has riches, but the losers in this pandemic aren't benefiting from them. At least the soccer fans are here to help. At 10 at night, they visit people camped out under an overpass. The soccer fans dare to go places most Brazilians would never set foot in. Cars race overhead, while down below, desperate families have built makeshift shelters. More victims of the corona crisis. Just a few weeks ago, this family moved their kitchen cupboard, bed and stove here from their rental apartment. Now they're hoping for better times. And the soccer fans' continued support. Due to the crisis, I couldn't pay my rent anymore. My wife and I became unemployed. We have three children, so we had no choice but to come here. I built this shelter myself. This slightly tipsy soccer fan even gave someone his shoes. We've become friends. I miss these people and always wonder how they're doing. Back in Brasilia, Sibel and the Bolsonaro fans are getting worked up. They're all very religious and have constructed huge crosses. This is from our last demonstration. We made it. Radical Christians and evangelicals make up much of Bolsonaro's power base. Brazil's a conservative Christian country. Tomorrow we'll demonstrate for God, who stands above all else. Her disdain for the political left drives her on. She says, till recently, Brazil's leaders were communist and corrupt. The work of the dictators wasn't finished in 1964. There are still communists around. Communism has deep roots in Latin America. It's everywhere. They're all still here, the whole time, for years. And even though Brazil's president denigrates homosexuals, there's a gay Bolsonaro supporter here, staunchly conservative and also a member of this religious group. How can that be? I'm homosexual, right-wing, conservative, and for Bolsonaro. That freaks out the left-wingers who want me to carry a rainbow flag and scream and shout. What's our duty? Religion, family, and honesty. But most of the leftists aren't honest. In the evening, Sibel travels to the president's residence where she hopes to get close to him. Bolsonaro often appears with his supporters here. But she doesn't get past the entrance. Further ahead, the president talks to the press and a handful of supporters. Sibel must content herself with the live stream. She's disappointed. Hold your head high, Captain. It's a tough situation. His own security personnel won't let folks near. It's strange. He needs lots of strength because they're trying to keep the people from him. That's bad. The next morning, they're getting ready for the big Sunday demonstration. The Bolsonaro supporters have brought along 27 crosses, one for every state in Brazil. First, they gather for a prayer and a sermon. Then they embark on their mission. Sibel comments on all their activities live on the net, usually without a mask on. Here we have 27 crosses. 
No one will be throwing stumbling blocks in our way again because this video is being transmitted worldwide. We'll show who the anti-democrats are. It's not us. Us against them. This confrontational style is seen on the streets and on the net. People are polarized. So Sibel doesn't accept that more Brazilians may have contracted and died from coronavirus due to Bolsonaro downplaying the dangers. Because President Bolsonaro didn't stay home a single day, we went out to. If he'd stayed at his palace and waited till the pandemic was over, the country would have already fallen apart. But he led Brazil. These people know Bolsonaro is under pressure. Even abroad, criticism is growing, largely due to his policies on the environment and human rights. That's why they take to the streets every Sunday with national flags to back him up. It's not a mass movement, but conservative soccer fans are among the hardcore members. Look who's demonstrating here. Older people, kids. We're all supporting democracy. Bolsonaro can't be undemocratic. Otherwise, he wouldn't have stood for election. And he won, which is why we're here with our flag to say, just let him govern. But Rogério and the other soccer fans in Sao Paulo see things differently. For them, Bolsonaro is inhumane and a danger to Brazilian democracy. There's another virus worse than the coronavirus. The racism and right-wing extremist policies of our government. The divisions are growing even deeper between those championing a right-wing revolution and those fighting for the future of democracy in Brazil. Brazil.